Hi everybody. Um, I'm going to show you how to test the compression on a small gas engine, whether it be a lawnmower engine, go-kart engine, a snowblower. This particular engine came off my ancient Arians snowblower and I am suspicious of the compression in here. So I'm going to do a compression tester. I have my uh, compression test kit here and I'm going to see, I'm guessing that the valves need, are in desperate need of grinding and I won't know until I get the head off what the rings look like inside but I may need to do a honing and a ring job as well. So the first thing I got to do is pull off the spark plug. I don't have this on real tight because I uh, had recently been working on this engine. Those of you uh, who have been watching may remember when I worked on the uh, tearing apart the snowblower, which is just behind the camera over here. Now, first of all, you got to find the spark plug fitting that fits this uh, this uh, engine, and I happen to know it's this one here. So you insert the proper fitting into the engine, and there's an O-ring on there. Let me show you one of these. There's an O-ring on here, a rubber seal, that makes a uh, airtight fit. So you want to tighten it down. I don't torque it down, I just do it finger tight. Uh, I don't want to mash the gaskets. Then take your hose and then screw that in to the fitting. That also has a rubber O-ring on it to give a proper seal. Okay, and that is again just finger tight, nice and tight, but not too tight. And then you take your compression gauge, and it's got a uh, quick disconnect fitting on there, so pop that in place. Now, how you test a uh, small engine, a gas engine, uh, works for Briggs, Tecumseh, Honda, whatever, any small engine, horizontal or vertical shaft, what you have to do is put on your compression testing gauge like I've done here and then you give it a full pull, a few pulls on the uh, the starter handle. Alright, so I'm going to pull it about five times. I'm going to attempt my try my best. Let me see if I can get, show you the gauge as I do this. Got an odd glare in there. So, I'm going to give it a few pulls and we'll see what the compression is going to go up to. Now generally what should happen is the needle is going to go up on the first pull or so it's going to go up to a certain point and then with each conse uh, consecutive pull after that it's going to rise slowly. It's going to rise really fast for the first pull and it's going to rise very slowly to a, the, the highest level, the highest compression level of this particular engine. And that's the reading you want to take as your, uh, your compression for this, for this engine. So I'm going to give it a few pulls and let's see what happens here. So watch that gauge rise as we pull. Uh, my cable is... I got oil is... recoil. Alright, we've got bad compression. Very bad. We are at 30 pounds of pressure. That is very, very bad. So this engine is in desperate need of a valve job. This engine, I can't believe that they, they actually ran it until it got to that condition. Um, without, I, I can't believe, it's no wonder it was uh, discarded and abandoned. The valves are most certainly going to be in need of being ground. And then you release your pressure here. Now, a good compression setting for a healthy engine is going to be anywhere between 60 and 100 to even 120 uh, PSI on a healthy engine. Uh, 60 being actually quite low on, on the an bottom end but still it'll run, rough but it'll run and 100 being uh, pretty good average on the high end. Uh, this one having 30 PSI means it definitely has bad valves at the very least and possibly the rings are shot. So I'm going to take this inside later and open it up and see what I can do to try to bring this engine back to life. 
Uh, my goal is to try to restore this old Arian's uh, snowblower engine. This is an H60 Tecumseh engine and I do hope to bring it back to life. So now this of course quick disconnects and it's good to put your equipment back in a proper place, keep it neat so you have it in good shape for the next time. So definitely this engine needs to be opened up and needs some loving. And I'll just put the plug back in to keep any dirt out from any dirt from getting inside the, the cylinder. In the meantime here, give a little snug down, not tight, but just enough. So that stays in uh that stays clean, keep any dirt out of there. You want to minimize damage, although I am going to rebuild it. I want to minimize damage and uh, dirt on the inside of this engine. So, everybody, that's how you check the compression of a small gas lawnmower or snowblower engine. So, thanks for watching. Troy from the Do It Yourself World and the Off Grid Project.